Jean McPhee, winner of the French Grand Prix in beautiful style. How do you feel, Cos? I'll tell you what, there's been some tears in this paddock. We've been waiting for this for a while, haven't we, after that wet win? I can't put it into words, you know, I'm actually struggling to speak. I'm just so, so happy. I'm delighted. It's been, it's been one of them starts of the year that, you know, it sounds like you're making excuses, but I've had to keep on believing myself. I knew I've been fast and the team's been, been fantastic. And it's just been a matter of time until we managed to turn the season around. And we, we came in to qualify and put it in pole, and that was a little bit of a turning point for us. Got that kind of monkey off my back. And, and to win the race, it doesn't feel real right now. I'm still, still all emotional, but delighted. So, so happy. You, you mentioned the start of the season. It has been tough. You're in a big team. This Petronas team, we know it's a class team. You've got a class people, a lot of experience. Were you starting to doubt yourself? Because I, I was starting to panic because I knew this year was going to be big for you and the results haven't quite been coming. You've always had the speed. I, I, has there been some moments where you're thinking, I, I don't know what's going on here? Definitely, definitely had moments where I've not known what's going on. And doubting myself, no, that's one thing. I've, I've been down. I've definitely been feeling down after races when you, you think that you've been, you're going to go out there and you're going to be in the podium and then for whatever reason you're, you're just not getting it. But every weekend, I think uh, since the start of the season, I've led at least one session and I've been fast and I've kind of changed my, my riding around and I've been able to do all the laps alone and be up to speed. It's just been the race that's been letting me down and I know I'm a racer. So to, uh, to be able to show today what we're capable of and to show that we're a, a contender for the championship, it's, it's fantastic. Well, we, we obviously know you're a racer. Let's talk about the team around you. You, you know, we see mum and dad a lot. Your girlfriend's here all the time and the, and the team itself. It's a, it's, what's good about the Petronas team, it's a close team. How important has that been to get you through to this point? I can't even explain, you know, I've got so many people to thank, I can't even I can't even go through the list, but I've got such a good family and such a good team around me, it means so much, you know, I've been here a long time, I've been in Moto3 for a while, but every season there's been something that's just not been there, and this year it's been, I've got a great opportunity, I'm so thankful for the Petronas team to be given, to believe in me and give me this opportunity, and to repay them with my first dry win is just amazing, um, yeah, I can't, can't thank them enough. John, just wait till you watch it back. It's a beautiful race. Your racecraft, everything was 10 out of 10, mate. On, I, I want to watch it with you. Mugello next. Tell us about that place. You're looking forward to that one, I'm guessing. Can't wait. Can't wait. This time, uh, last, well, last time there in a Honda, I was in pole position and finished uh, top six in the race. So we've got a, a good run there. I, th I think it's a track that's going to suit me a lot. So really looking forward to it. I like the sound of that. I cannot wait, John. Congratulations from everyone at BT Sport. Top man. I'm so proud of you. Can I just say happy birthday, Mum? That one's for you. Oh, that style. <laughs> Thank you.